guys welcome back to another video here on my hero academia ultra impact my name is Jonathan snow and today guys we're actually going to showcase the brand new or should i say free to play all might today so i'm just actually just finishing up the this s tower for ve the ve tower uh rank s so we're just gonna go ahead and finish this off really quickly because after we do this uh then we actually uh, we just we get enough ve tower points in order to actually uh, unlock the all might so this will be the last round here let's go ahead and just do all this really quickly and that should be good game all right so with that being said this is actually the second this is the stain s tower which i'm able to complete pretty easily i, I probably should make a video on that also to show you guys my team information and stuff like that so but yeah so that is uh this s uh s tower stain second tower so now we actually got 8060 60 uh currency i don't even know what that currency is even called <laughs> but here we go i've been waiting for a while for this um actually my account is only let me see my pro if you look at my profile uh my account is only from first played on 213 so we are actually 221 so this actually been a a week and one day I was actually able to unlock this so that's pretty good some people were saying that was gonna take over a month to do but i guess for me it was a different so here we go this is the symbol of peace all might let's take a look here he's a ur he is a i don't know what this emblem is called but he's a heart category uh, he does destroy smash or plus ultra move deal 650 damage to a single opponent makes all allies ecstatic for three turns also, too, with, with a problem with this game I have is that it doesn't tell you, like, what Ecstatic does, what uh, Fear does, Bleed, Burn. Neither of those, some of those are, like, common sense things, but something like this, I don't even know what this does. The game doesn't even give you, like, um, I don't know, like, like a chart that shows you exactly what, what's the meaning of this. So, if you've seen an inside game, then de definitely do let me know, but uh, I do not know what that means for this game in particular. Uh, deals 350 damage to a single opponent skill impact is increased by 40 percent if opponent is a league of uh, villains so this is kind of um the same thing as uh what do you say um overhaul overhaul says if he fights a pro hero he does additional damage so that's pretty cool that all my actually has that too uh, increased characters plus gauge by 80 percent so he's gonna be supering on turn two uh, also here, his auto skill increased character's power by 30% when HP is 50% or higher. Also decreased character's power and speed by 3% per turn. Max is 30. So this is interesting. So not only he gets a buff, he also gets a power and speed debuff. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Basically, you probably want him early on the fight. When HP is below 50%, once per battle, give the character ability to, to make a one last uh, last stand one time, increase character power by 40% for three turns. That's really cool. So that means that if somebody's trying to nuke him, uh, he has a he has a survivability to uh, last you know that one more turn, so he can hit one more time. Uh, what is his uh, stats looking like? Uh, speed. All right. So this is not max level. So unfortunately, we can't see what the max level looks like. But we're gonna take him as far as possible. So let's go ahead and buy him. 8,000. Nice. Sold out. Definitely the next thing I kind of want to buy is uh, now it's your turn. Uh, but then I would do want to get all his other, uh, you know, uh, pieces here. So that way we can actually limit break them. So, all right. So let's go into characters. Let's uh, level them up here. And I do want to test them out. I'm probably going to test them out in PvP as well. Uh, let's see here actually you know what we'll we'll be right back because i actually need to run some of the events actually you know you know let me do it on camera why not right why not all right let's go to level up quest here yep we're skipping that uh yep we're gonna do all the level up tries use all six instantly and i've been wanting another ur in my team super super badly too so character level up let's grab all my I don't know if I'll be able to awaken him uh, today. Uh, if I can, I'll probably put it on camera as well. Alright. So let's see how far I can get him to awaken. 
All right, so it doesn't look like I can take him far. <laughs> Let's see. He awakens at number six. Yeah, so at number six, you need 50 shards of him to actually awaken him. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. I do just want to see. Can we, uh, oh, we can do this one time. All right, here. Let's do about three times. Also, too, it feels really bad that double, double drops has officially ended. So that kind of feels bad, too. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, uh, we could get there again. Okay. Let's see how far we could get. All right, we need one of these. Let's do it two times. I want to see how far I can take this guy. Because he's definitely going to be on my PvP team. Alright. I think that's where it's going to stop at. Okay. Alright, so... Let me take him out to PvP. Alright guys, so we're back. I went ahead and decided that we're just going to do a random uh, hard mission story mode because... Simple fact is I try to take All Might to PvP and it didn't work out so hard. He got kind of like two-shotted. So <laughs> because he's so low and I'm so high in PvP where you need to have a, like a, a pretty decent, uh, you know, level in the character. So since I just got him, I haven't really like awakened him yet and fully invested in him yet just yet. But give me a couple of days, he'll be up there. But with that, with that being said, I just want to check out All Might here to see exactly what he does as, as far as like super... And whatnot so we're just gonna see that now here so this this ability gives him an 80 percent increase of uh, his plus ultra gauge which is actually really great because you need 100 percent and when you do a successful three chain you get a 30 percent uh increase of your ultra gauge so automatically all my is gonna hit super on on turn two which is pretty intense so let me make sure we have animations on uh, so now we can see the ultra okay we do okay so let's go ahead and hit aizawa with the ultra and uh let's see here that should be good enough we go oh my is going third okay so we'll, he'll go first that's fine all right we'll do that so let's see how this looks plus ultra ah it's just like the show versus nomu okay I'll teach you what it really means. Go beyond plus ultra. There we go. <laughs> oh man, just like season one, man. Such a great, great season, dude. That was one of the most memorable episodes that to this day that it still gives me the chills when I hear him say that. The plus ultra. So that's cool. I think that's a really great animation for him. Uh, I, I, I'm so happy that it's even free to play, which is so good. So that is all my, that's the all my showcasing of the free you are. Again, I'm going to do some updates later on when I actually uh, do get him leveled up and awaken and stuff like that and actually have him on my PVP team. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, that was just the showcasing of the you are all my for now. Again, I think he's going to be really fantastic. Um, the only thing I'm kind of like iffy about again, the only thing I don't know it was make all allies ecstatic. I don't know what ecstatic means, so definitely leave a comment down below what that means for this game in particular. And then Wow, increased characters ultra gauge by 90%. Okay, never mind. I was completely wrong. This is 90%. <laughs> I thought it was 80% before. Oh, you know what? Because I leveled them up, so this is actually 90%. Wow. I wonder if this gets to 100 percent That'll be interesting. Okay. All Might could be very scary. I might, you know what? I think I might have All Might in my PvP, uh, PvP team like a late, like a late sweeper. So, and again, the only other thing I don't know for for sure is like increase characters power by thirty percent when HP is fifty percent or higher. Also, decrease characters power and speed by three percent for max thirty percent. So he gains the buff, and then he starts losing his strength. So. And again, you can also give him some EX auto skills that could probably prevent that as well. So, I don't know. So, he busts himself, does a lot of damage, and then he starts getting weaker and weaker as time progresses. So, I don't know. It sounds like All Might to me, right? <laughs> so, with that being said, guys, again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Uh, hopefully, I can show you guys some more showcasing on the free-to-play All Mights. And uh, let me know how close are you to getting him. So, until then, I'll see you in the next one.